Hello, welcome to Crafting Unedited. My name's Sierra, and I am owner, creator, founder, doer of all things Crafting Unedited and Craft Ali. So today I uh, want to talk to you about the different types of stones that I use in my lava bracelets, which is a, I showed you guys how to do that in one of my other videos. But I thought that it might be important for you to know what types of stones and what their meanings are that I use. Um, I'm kind of new to this whole uh, healing stone thing, so bear with me. I do have a cheat sheet. <laughs> so first we're going to start off, um, I do use quite a bit of different stones and I want to use more. Um, as I learn more, I want to get more of them, obviously, but uh, we're just going to talk about the ones that I have on hand and the ones that I've used recently. So first, we're going to start off with uh, what is called a black network agate stone and what it looks like. I actually had no idea what these were. Um, I just thought that they were really cool looking, but actually I'll leave it in the bag because otherwise you might not be able to see it. So what these are, it's just like a black and gray stone. Um, it's not a bead. It's in a bead format, but it's not a bead. Um, it is an actual stone. It's a blackish gray color. It kind of reminds me of like storm clouds. I thought it was pretty neat looking. But what the Black Network stone is, it's, an, it's actually an agate type of stone. And what it does, it's a stone of strength, courage, protection, healing, and calming. It helps balance the yin and yang energy. A gate enhances creativity, strengthens the intellect, and is grounding. So basically it makes you creative and it helps calm and heal you. And also gives you a layer of courage and protection. Fancy stuff there, huh? So next we are going to go to a multi-iris hematite. And it's... It's a really cool stone. Um, you can get it in a, diff a whole lot of different um, shapes and textures and all kinds of stuff. But this is really cool. Um, it's got like a iridescent look to it. I don't know if you can see it with the There we go. See, it's got like blues and purples and blacks. It's really neat. These are actually in the shape of an arrow. And what this does is it focuses energy and emotions for balance between the body, mind, and spirit. It dissolves negative negativity and prevents you from absorbing the negativity of others. Um, hematite is strong, supporting timidity, boosting self-esteem and survivability, enhancing willpower and reliability, and imparting confidence. So basically it's a really cool stone to give you lots of confidence and uh, keeps those negative Nancys away, that vibe from those negative Nancys, keeps those away. Pretty cool stone, it's really neat looking too. All right, so next we're gonna go to Sodalite. These are really fun, they're blue, um, kind of cloudy looking, but they're really neat. There's all kinds of shades of blue in there. There's navy, there's light, there's white, Lots of fun going on there. And some of them have more than others, which I found was really cool. Some of them have more like a cloudy look to them, like that one right here. Some of them are just more marbleized looking. All right. So, um, Soda Light brings order and calmness to the mind. Lots of calm. Um, it encourages rational thought, objectivity, truth, and intuition, along with verbalization of feelings. So it helps you verbalize your feelings. Interesting. It brings emotional balance and calms panic attacks. Enhances self-esteem, self-acceptance, acceptance, and self-trust. So this one's pretty good if you have like anxiety and panic attacks. There's a lot of beads or stones in here um, that I picked for that purpose. Um, I think that the lava stones are good for, you know, just creating balance and well-being. So, panic attacks and anxiety. For that, opal. Opal is a gorgeous, gorgeous stone. It's also very expensive. So, what I have here is just a... Uh, let's see if I can get it here. 
this is just a synthetic opal here. I don't know if you can see that, but there it goes. So opal encourages both freedom and independence, enhances cosmic consciousness, and induces psychic and mystical visions. That's a lot going on there. <laughs> it stimulates originality and creativity, helps release anger and calm self-worth, aiding in accessing and expressions one expressing one's true self. Words are hard. It doesn't help you with that. <laughs> Next we have white quartzite and aqua aura quartzite. Here we go. So the white quartzite are the white beads in here. Right here. They kind of look like an opal, but they are not. Let's see if I block out my face here. It's these white beads right here. I mix them because they're both quartzite, and you can do that. Right there. So the white ones are there. And what the white quartzite does is it's help you to sustain positive changes. So this one's kind of like one of those spiritual things in your life by preventing you, preventing you to Flip back to your previous state. What exactly that means, I'm not sure. It's a very spiritual bead. Um, the aqua, however, which is the rest of the beautiful stones going on there, the greens, very pretty colors. Um, it is used by crystal healers and others to calm emotions and the emotional body. It is a powerful stress reliever. Also, a strong energy for reducing and eliminating anger. It's helped. It's said to help process emotional disturbances such as grief and traumas to a point where they are long, no longer stressful. So if you're going through a state of grief for any reason, these are said to help with that. All right, next we have Fancy Jasper. This one is really fun. Um, I love it because it comes in, like, it's, just so many colors there's so much going on um i do have a bluer version which is like a teal blue aqua color and then the true fancy jasper which is a mixture of blues and browns and purples and greens lots of colors going on which is my favorite part because you're not stuck with just one color so this is what these look like there we go so you can see like the purples and the blues, some darker green going on there. I did leave these in there so that I knew what was what. So, <laughs> um, so what Fancy Jasper is, it's a wonderful stone for being, bringing wholeness and healing to an environment or situation. It is said to intensify enlightened feelings of well-being, helping you to lighten up and enjoy yourself more. Um, it can also relieve fear, guilt, and frustration, building inner strength and confidence. So it kind of gives you that go, go get her feeling. <laughs> um, and basically just kind of gives you a whole well-being feeling. Lighten up, basically, <laughs> is what that one does. The effects of alcohol without the alcohol, apparently, is what that one is for. All right, next we have turquoise howlite and white howlite. That's these two. This is the turquoise, obviously, and this is the white. It's like a marbleized gray and white. You can't really see it because they're so teeny tiny. Um, but what these two do is the turquoise howlite is a great stone to reduce anxiety, tension, stress, and anger. It is gentle, soothing, and calms the energy around you. It is associated with the throat chakra and communication. I'm not sure what that part means, but reducing stress, anxiety, tensions, and you know, anger is huge, um, in my opinion. Anything that we can do to naturally reduce those feelings is benefit beneficial. Words are hard. Again, this is crafting unedited, so. <laughs> How light, however, the white one, um, strengthens your mem memory and stimulates desire for knowledge. So it's a learning bead um, or stone. I keep calling them beads because they're in the shape of a bead. It's a stone. <laughs> how light strengthens memory and stimulates desire for knowledge. It teaches patience and helps eliminate rage, pain, and stress. It's a calming stone. 
calms communication, facilitates awareness, and encourages emotional expression. Halite balances calcium levels in the body as well. So there's a lot going on with this one, and it's a very, I didn't know, beneficial stone. So we'll see more of these coming, the white ones, um, because, you know, it being able to stimulate desire for knowledge is one thing. Um, teaching patience is a whole nother thing, which I need like 30 of these because of a four-year-old <laughs> and a nine-year-old. But anyway, next we have a gate. So we have a fire gate and a black gate. These two here. The fire is orangish red and the black is the crackled one. Thought that one looked pretty cool. So fire gate is protective and grounding. It is also a calming or it also has calming energy. All of these do. Um, but protective and grounding stone. Um, it's said to build a protective shield around the body, defecting ill wishing and harm and reflecting it back to its source. So basically if somebody is wanting to inflict harm on you, it supposedly bounces it back to them, not you. <laughs> um, I lost my spot. Stimulates energy and life force and is said to increase sexual vitality and libido. There you go. You want to get your groove on? Fire gate. <laughs> black gate, like all black stones, is grounding and protective crystal. Is a grounding and protective crystal. So the black gate is a type of crystal. Didn't know that. It gives energy, gives calming peace that helps those during a period of bereavement. So again, going through grief, black agate is a good one for you. It gives inner strength to move on and is also very helpful in keeping peace in stressful households. We need a lot of this. <laughs> Just kidding. So agate is apparently great for grieving and, you know, creating peace. It's also a very beautiful stone. So next we have amethyst. Amethyst is really, really cool. It's like this purplish brown. Um, in the light, it's very brownish. In the dark, it's very purplish. So you can't really see much of that going on. Well, I guess you can, but they're really cool. These are the smaller version. I have a bigger one um, in another set that I have. Amethyst is a natural tranquilizer. It releases stress, stress and strain soothes irritability, balances mood swings, dispels anger, rage, fear, and anxiety, alleviates sadness, grief, and dissolves negativity. Amethyst activates spiritual awareness, opens intuition, and enhances psychic, psychic abilities. I don't believe that part, but the whole um, natural tranquilizer and it relieving stress and grief and all of that really, Amethyst, I feel, is very, very good with that. Um, primarily because I have used it and it just kind of helps you feel more calm and more at peace with whatever you're going through. That's if you're one of, if you're someone like me who has some sort of spiritual belief in things. Um, natural stones are really good for that. Next we have lava stones. So this is the, the main event for all of my bracelets that I've been making recently. Um, Lava stones are really cool. Um, I I think that I originally fell in love with them when we went to Rome and we hiked the volcanoes, the active ones, and I just, the feeling of the lava, it's really neat. Um, these are colored, so obviously they are not true lava. Um, true lava is black, gray, and like has shiny particles in it. Um, but lava stone, what it is, it's a grounding stone that it strengthens one's connection to Mother Earth, gives us strength and courage, allowing a stability through times of change. It provides guidance and understanding in situations where we may need to bounce back. Calming stone, very useful in dissipating anger. Um, this, I, I really kind of, I and close to the lava stone because when we were hiking those volcanoes and I know that sounds really really crazy but we did we hiked four while we were over there it was really fun but you just kind of have this at peace feeling like while you're hiking up this real <laughs> live volcano that could erupt at any moment 
even though you have that running through your mind, you're not really thinking about it. You're just feeling at peace and, you know, as you're going up it, you feel very uh, calm. Like, even if it was to erupt, so what? Who cares? <laughs> it was just something about the natural lava that just kind of absorbed all of that negative energy. It just kind of, as you got higher and higher, it was crazy. It was really weird. It was like a high, but naturally, because you're just hiking up something that could explode on you at any given moment. All right, so next. Moving on, because I could go on all day about that. Um, we have more. Not many more, though. So next we have Rose Quartz, which is a very beautiful stone. It's like this pinkish white color. It's a type of quartz. If you can see it, it's very pinky, very light pinky. And what that does is it restores trust and harmony in relationships. Encouraging unconditional love. Rose quartz purifies and opens the heart at all levels to promote love, self-love, friendship, deep inner healing, and feelings of peace. Calming and reassuring. It helps comfort times of grief. So it's uh, the love stone. <laughs> it's kind of like Cupid stone is what I would call it. Um, because it does, you know, have that unconditional love feeling. Alright. Next, it's also very pretty. It's pink. Of course, it's going to be love involved. Emperor bead. Um, this is actually a bead and a stone. It's like the emperor stone, which I'm sure you've heard of. It's got greens and browns and tan, I think is what I would call that color. Um, here you go. There we go. That's a little better. And what the emperor bead is, it's a spiritual. It's actually called spiritually lapis lazuli which is also what this blue one here is. It's the same thing, just a different color. And that's Lapis Lazuli. Didn't know that. Um, it brings wisdom, sincerity, and highlights the interior truth. With the Lapis Lazuli, one becomes emperor of his spiritual empire. I don't know if I believe that one. That's very spiritual to me. Anyways, um, it also is considered a friendship stone subconsciously stimulate self-consciousness, dignity, sincerity, and honesty. The rest of that, I believe. <laughs> I'm kind of one of those that are on the border of spiritual beliefs and, you know, chemical balances. So that kind of plays into it. But as far as like believing and religion and stuff like that, I just don't have it. I grew up in church, but... Mm one of those, but we're not going to talk about that. Anyway, so the tiger eye, the eye of the tiger, moving on. Eye of the tiger, it's really cool. It's a very neutral stone. It has um, kind of this, like, if you were to look in a tiger's eye look. It's kind of cool. It's brown and black. You can't really see it this way, but if you can, great. There we go. We got the focus following it. There we go. So this one, it's really neat looking. It's said to bring good luck to the wearer. It has the power to focus the mind, promoting mental clarity, assisting us to resolve problems objectively, excuse me, and unclouded by emotions. Particularly useful for healing psychocosmetic illnesses, dispelling fear and anxiety. I'm not entirely sure what the rest of that means, to be totally honest. But, you know, good luck and, you know, promoting mental clarity, it's a pretty good thing. Um, if you can think clearer, you can do clearer. That makes sense. <laughs> Radigate, next and last but not least. This is a protection stone. It's just literally a reddish orange color. And it is a protection stone. Um, what that means is that it shields the wearer from negative energies and helps get rid of fear, fear and anxiety. This gemstone is very calming. It helps balance the root chakra and allows you to stay grounded during stressful and emotional times. So it's great for work. <laughs> it's great for your day job. Right? Just be totally honest here. Actually, all of these really are. 
Um, and like I said, this is just a small uh, variety of what is out there as far as like healing stones and lava stones and whatnot. Um, and paired with these I use um, essential oils and with the lava stones you can actually drip those right into, drip the oils right into the lava stone and it gives you even more of a well-being feeling. So I love lavender, orange, and uh, eucalyptus. Lavender is great uh, calming. Uh, stress reliever, anxiety reducer uh, oil. Eucalyptus is great for clearing congestion and sinus pain and pressure in the head. It also helps give you a clear mind. Orange is a happy oil. It creates a sense of happiness and positivity, which I think the world needs more of. So why don't we just spray orange essential oil all over them? <laughs> just kidding. Not that, not that much into it, but I do feel like it does help quite a bit, especially in stressful times like, you know, work or if you're out shopping and you have anxiety, it does help quite a bit. So anyways, that is all I have for you today, um, which was actually a lot of information and I hope that it was very useful for you. And I would love if you would go down there and hit subscribe so that as I get more of these stones, I can teach you more about them and I can show you more about it. Otherwise, you can also just watch a lot of my other videos for Cricut and other types of crafting. So if you don't mind, I would appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button. It doesn't really do anything to you. I mean, just kidding. Anyways, so if you don't mind, subscribe. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. Um, if you want to see more and you want to know when I'm on, all you got to do is hit the bell. That would be great too. Till next time. Have a great weekend. See ya.